Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to make an Italian sponge cake. So we have six extra large eggs at room temperature beating and I'm going to add in a cup and a half of sugar and we're going to let that mix together. So we're going to beat that, the egg and the sugar on high speed for 10 minutes. Okay, so our egg and sugar has been beating for 10 minutes and you can see how nice and fluffy it has become. So now we're going to add in a cup and three quarters of flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. And we're going to let that combine. I'm going to add in half a cup of oil and let that mix and one teaspoon of vanilla extract you can use orange extract whatever you prefer and we're just going to let that combine okay so everything is nicely combined i'm just going to put it into my spring form pan it's going to go into the oven at 350 and it's going to bake for about an hour. We're going to be making the custard to go with the Italian sponge. So I have four extra large eggs with eight tablespoons of sugar and we're just going to beat this until it resembles a nice lemony color. Okay, so now we're going to add in four cups of milk. So there's two. Four. And we're going to mix that. And I'm going to be adding in eight tablespoons of flour as well. Eight tablespoons of flour. I'm going to mix that. I haven't turned on the stove yet, I just want to get my mixture going. And I'm going to add in a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Again, you can use whichever flavor you like. I'm going to turn my stove to medium heat and I'm just going to keep stirring this until it thickens. So this could take a while. Okay, you can see that the custard is starting to thicken. I pulled it off the heat for a bit uh, and I've also turned the heat down. You want to keep stirring because you don't want clumps to form. So at this point I'll be putting it on and off the heat until it is to the desired thickness that I want. I am still stirring away. You can see that the custard is getting thickened and like i said i keep taking it on and off the heat and you just have to keep stirring now this is a good arm workout my hand is actually hurting because i do have carpal tunnel syndrome in my hand so i am getting some pain so i have to change the way i hold the spoon at time and change hands so this is something that does take a while you have to be committed when you are making custard from scratch Okay, so the custard is nice and thick. One way we test is we can see how it's thickened up by using the spoon. And we do the, the test. So it's nice and thick. It's not running into each other. So I'm just gonna stir this for a couple more minutes. And then I'll be taking some out to keep as vanilla custard. And then I'll show you how we make some into chocolate. Okay, so I took some of the vanilla out and it's going to cool. I'm going to put some saran wrap just on top so as it cools, it doesn't form a skin on it. For us, I'm going to be making it chocolate. So you can use semi-sweet chocolate and melt it in there. Or what I'm doing today is I'm using cocoa powder. I just made a paste because I don't have any semi 
sweet chocolate on hand. So you're just going to add that into your vanilla mixture and then you're just going to stir it in and it's going to be turned into chocolate custard. Okay, so the chocolate custard is all mixed and ready to go and it's going to cool off and again I'll be putting some saran over top as it cools so it doesn't uh, form a skin and our cake has come out of the oven too so that's going to cool off and when everything is nice and cool we'll be assembling it. The cake has finished cooling and the custard as well. I have cut the cake up and it's in three different sections. So I have some espresso and I have some rum. You can potentially use any liqueur that you like or if you don't want to use alcohol you can just use um, rum flavored or orange flavored um, extract or flavoring that you can use to wet your cake. So that's what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be wetting the cakes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some espresso down on the cake. I'm just using a spoon and I'm just going around and around until it's all moistened. And then once I finish with the espresso, I'll be using the rum. Okay, so the espresso is done. I just want to make sure the edges where it tends to be drier has the nice espresso. And I did not add any sugar to that. So now this is just rum. Actually, it's rum um, from Cuba, some nice Cuban rum. But like I said, you can use any liqueur you like, a triple sec or um, a peach snaps or a Cointreau, whatever you like. And you're just going to wet your cake like that. So I'm going to put the vanilla custard onto the moistened cake and that's going to be one layer. You want to make sure that you use enough. If that's not enough. I'll put some more and just spread it around. Looks like I'm going to have to add some more. Okay, so the custards I'll put nicely on the first layer and now I'm going to put the coffee and the rum on the next layer. Okay, so this layer is nicely uh, moistened and I'm going to flip it onto my cake and you can see how some of it has come through. I'm also going to moisten this side with the coffee and the liqueur. Okay, so this layer is going to be chocolate custard. I'm just putting it on there and then I'm going to spread it out. This is the top layer, so again, I'm adding the coffee and the rum just to keep the cake nice and moistened. This is a cake that I grew up eating as a child. Okay, I've put all the cake back together and now I'm just going to spread it out and finish decorating it with the chocolate custard. Okay, so the cake is finished and I'm just going to pop it into the fridge and let it all set together. Thanks for watching. Bye.